Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of the American Outdoorsman. This week we've headed to the beautiful country of Austria. That's right, I said Austria, not Australia. There's no kangaroos here, but we are hunting some giant stags. We're hunting the Austrian Alps for the great red deer, or the red stag. We'll be hunting with Philip Koontz from Hunt Austria, along with my good friend Gene Price from Trophy Rock and his wife Michelle. And we'll be staying at the famous lodge, the Jagdtoft Rattenthal, right here in central Austria. We'll be hunting for some giant stag, along with some mouflon and chamois, so don't go away. We've got a lot more with the American Outdoorsman right after this. How are you, Mr. Higgins? Yes. Yeah, welcome yes. to Breitental. And your yeah. name is Eva? Eva, yeah, Eva, I'm Eva. It's Fritz, my husband. I'm Fritz. Fritz, nice to meet you, Fritz. Nice to meet you. It's been a fantastic trip over Fritz. here. Uh, take a seat. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, you had a safe journey? Yes, we did. Yeah. We did. Okay. The, I tell you, the mountains here are absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Oh my, there's snow is... on some of them still. Yeah. The weather's perfect. Uh, perfect for hunting. It's absolutely yeah. perfect. It's all perfect. <laughs> oh, it, well, it, I think, and the hotel looks absolutely beautiful coming in. We, we tried to do it perfect. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> well, you've done a great job. Yeah. Absolutely done Thank a great you. job. Thank you. So the animals uh, in rut? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. High rut. A high rut. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Well, I tell you what, uh, should I grab my bags maybe? And yeah, okay. I, may I show you the room and yeah. just the That'd house inside? Fantastic. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. Let us show. Through here? Yeah, here. Right. Please welcome. Nice meeting you, Prince. Given the nickname, a small castle in the mountains, the Jagdtoff Breitental, established in 1554, has survived the passing of the centuries. This beautiful lodge provides the standards of a first-class hotel with all the comfort, hospitality, and history of Austria's finest destinations. Okay, Chris, we're gonna go up there. There's a ridge, it's like a 20 to 30 minute walk, and there's some meadows up there, and we're gonna go look for Mouflon up there. Okay. And it looks like rain is coming in, so we're just gonna go slow, but not too slow. Okay. So we get up there before the rain. Right. We will start very, very quietly through the woods, because it's all, all very good for Mouflon around here. Do you have a bow in your raffle? Uh, yeah, okay. okay. We get about halfway up the mountain, we stop and catch our breath. We're getting pretty close to where these meadows are, and out of nowhere, these big dark clouds just roll in right over top of us. Right behind that ridge, those meadows are gonna start in old clearings. We're gonna look in, and they like to be in there in the last sun right now. It wasn't long we could start feeling the raindrops coming down and the next thing we knew it's pouring down but Philip wanted to go ahead and make the, the last push right on up to the end to this meadow we were so close. We got up there and I mean Philip spotted this mouflon out in the, out in the uh, meadow with a couple of chamois and uh, you know it was a giant mouflon. Yeah he's definitely that, a shooter. That's a giant ram. But we get up against this big uh, stump and uh, I lay the rifle across there and, and uh, you know, he's facing straight on and, and I waited forever for him to turn and Philip finally told me, he said, just shoot him straight yeah, on. Okay, yeah. Aim right at his chest and be ready for a quick follow up shot, okay? I'm ready when you are. Look, he gives my breath. He's staring right at us. You can shoot anytime you're ready. It's 
okay, it's okay. Good shooting. You got him twice. Oh. He went off into the woods, but you got him good. <laughs> that is a giant <laughs> mouflon, man. It's big. That is a huge, it's huge a very ram. big mouflon. I mean, he curls out and goes way up. Yeah. And twists and twist back up. You don't up. find many like this. I was going to say, is that unusual for these things? It's not unusual, but it's, I would say that's a very special trophy. How much time should we give this guy? I would say half an hour to an hour. Should yeah. we get back up under the dry Let's pine trees? Let's go under trees? the tree and, and, <laughs> and wait and give him give him some time. Master Philip, <laughs> thank you, sir. What a giant move. Don't say thank you yet. We have to find him first. Okay. <laughs> okay, Chris, you shot him right there, and he walked into, after your second shot, he went right into the woods there. So you better have the gun ready and turn down the scope. Yeah, just follow that trail. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. Right, brother. That was good hunting. Oh my goodness! Look at the size of this thing. Would you? He's an old ram. You see that fighting oh. things here? Look at the curl on that. The base is not very big, but the curl is interesting. Very it comes long. out and rotates out. Yeah. You see this? This. Uh -huh. if, if you want to have him shoulder mounted, this must come out because this shows he's an old ram and he was doing a lot of fighting too. Excellent. And this hump here. It's always a sign of older ram. Is that he's, where he's, he's about, if you count. The, How old is he? He's around five, in his sixth year probably. In his sixth year? Yeah, he's wow. a fine ram. Look at that. We'll now continue with more of the American Outdoorsman from the Swiss Alps in Austria. In the United States Army, 20-year uh, veteran, uh, currently stationed in uh, Heidelberg, Germany. Uh, love the opportunity of coming to, to wonderful Austria and hunt the Austrian Alps. Got here in uh, Austria, uh, was hunting, uh, looking for a, a Domshirsch or a fallow deer. We got out, we moved into the stand, and as we were getting into the stand, I saw a beautiful black fallow deer, um, which is not typical. It's actually very rare to have a black fallow deer. And uh, I just knew that was had a wonderful trophy. I knew that was what I would, was trying to hunt. The deer were in, in a little meadow, and uh, me and uh, Tom, the camera guy, were, were, he was following me, and we're moving up this mountain. We're a little winded because we were kind of hurried to get there, and the guide is using hand signals to tell us to move, stop and go, stop and go. And uh, so he's telling us stop and go because the deer were moving in the field, and he didn't want us to spook them. Yes. So after, I guess about four or five minutes of, of creeping into the stand, we get set up for the shot. And, and I look in the meadow, and they're two fantastic, I mean fantastic fallow deer. And I had my heart set on the, the, the black fallow deer because it's so u unique. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of like finding an albino uh, alligator because they're extremely rare. And uh, matter of fact, there are only two on this mountain and that's the only two they've seen in, in 30, 40 years. We set up the shot and uh, the deer was actually grazing away from us and we waited a good four to five minutes for it to present a, a good broadside shot. Very good. Very good. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. Two beautiful animals. Um, I'm, I'm speechless. 
And uh, so we waited about five, 10 minutes, moved down the hill uh, slowly to the animal to not uh, disturb the area. Moved up to the animal, um, got up there, and it was all I could ever ask for in, in a fallow deer. Fantastic accommodations, um, exceptionally uh, great hunting, and I would highly recommend anyone uh, to come over here, experience the culture, experience the hunting, and uh, enjoy just a fantastic environment for, for the entire family. I've always wanted to hunt a red stag and I've had the opportunity before but it was in an enclosure and I'm just not one of the type guys to hunt in an enclosure. And when, uh, when Chris gave me the opportunity to come to Austria uh, where there are no high fence to hunt a red stag, I jumped on it. And uh, the plane ride over here wasn't really that long and uh, it's about half the time of going to the other places. And uh, once we got over here, the countryside over here is absolutely beautiful. The place we're staying at is great and uh, they also have some really big red stag. And after running around a few days and spotting some red stags, I knew that I was going to be able to harvest the, the red stag that I've always wanted to with a little bit of luck. These Blauser rifles are awesome. The Swarovski scope and stuff on here. I'm feeling good about shooting something tonight. So what's the game plan? The game plan will be um, we're going to meet our main, main guide, Martin, here. And he scouted the whole area for the last two days for us. And he's going to come up, and then we're going to go where he thinks we're going to really meet some some good stacks for some you. Some good ones, cool. Yeah, That's awesome. which is probably a walk like 25 minutes around there, mm -hmm. and then if we don't see anything up there, we're gonna then stalk down here again and right be behind us, like almost like half a mile behind us, there's like a big clearing, and it's also a very very known rutting rutting area for us. But the stag we we're looking for you, he saw the last two days up there. Super. So he already has one picked out for me, huh? He has one picked up where you can never tell because they're moving. Moving so much during they're the rut right now. Yeah, yeah he said they to, travel quite a bit. They do up to 35 kilometers per day, which makes sometimes uh, miles, it makes around 20 miles. Yeah, that's a quite day. a bit, huh? So he can be, he was here to yesterday, so he might not be here tomorrow. Right, but today, there might be a bigger one here today. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Martin was my guide, and he had been out a few times uh, spotting for me. And he had seen a few red stags, but nothing that we wanted to shoot. And, and he came down one evening and he said, I found the red stag for you. He said, we'll go there tomorrow evening. Uh, so we drove up to the spot that Martin had picked out and he was very sure that the stag would be there. And uh, we done about a 30 minute hike and uh, came up to this, this uh, open green field. Please, for stag. And when we got there, sure enough, there was a great red stag out there. And uh, Martin and I moved into position and we found this log that was laying down and we got behind it and it was just, it was perfect. You know, we watched him for just a little bit, and he had a he had a herd of cows with him. And uh, Martin roared to him, and he was and he turned broadside to me, and I was able to take a great shot. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Perfect. No kill, no kill. Good shot. A little tief. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's my first Good. big horned animal. Yes, yes. I've never shot a stag a or an elk. That's my first one, Martha. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Oh, he's a great stag, Martin. Uh, That's beautiful. He's very open to trophy. Yeah, oh, he's God. wide, isn't he? Yes. Oh, he's great. Bye, my tail. Very good, dude. Thank you. Oh, he's a great stag. Great. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good, very good, too. Oh, good. He is so great. Yeah. It's beautiful. Well, very nice trophy. I guess the real work begins now. We got to get him out of here. <laughs> I guess we should probably go get the truck and, <laughs> and get it up here so we could get him out. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Okay. Gosh, it's beautiful. Thank you again very much. Thank you. All right. Get your walking stick there. Yes. We'll head down the hill and I guess we got to go. Yeah, the go same down. way. Look. Yeah, I'll go down way. over. Okay. okay. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Hey, that's all we got for this week's show. I want to thank Philip Coons. You're very <laughs> welcome. Thanks, Philip. Hunt Austria. I tell you what, this has just been an unbelievable place, Philip. Eva, Eva with uh, Yogtoff, Brighton Toff. Yeah. The 15th century hotel that we stayed at, this, the accommodations were unbelievable. Gene Price from Trophy Rock, thank you for joining me, buddy. Yes. I appreciate it. I had a great time. Martin, our stalker, thank you. wonderful job, my friend. <laughs> wonderful job. And some of our friends here from the armed forces, we sure do appreciate you guys joining us this week from Germany. Thank you for coming down. Hey, Callie from Hazel Creek is going to have an absolute ball with all this stuff, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a lot of work cut <laughs> out for him. Hey, and I want to thank Joey from uh, Outdoor Adventure Travels for setting this trip up for us. We really appreciate it, Joey. Hey, and to each and every one of you out there for taking the time out of your day to watch our show. Until next time, so long, everybody. For more information on today's program, you can visit us on the web at www.theamericanoutdoorsman.com.